On today's Drinking with Johnny, I'm going to be trying out something that I'm actually quite excited about. And it's not Asahi Super Dry. Let's make that clear. I think Asahi Super Dry is the most overrated beer in Japan. A lot of uh, a lot of people gush about how great Super Dry is. It's very popular, but I think it's overrated. I don't think it's that good. And generally, I try to avoid it unless it's uh, at a restaurant where it's all you could drink beer and that's all they have. Or if you go to a party or some kind of event and that's all they have. Or if you're already drunk, then after that, it doesn't really fucking matter what you drink because it all tastes good after that. But it's not terrible. But compared to the other beers that I drink, it's shit. <laughs> we're, we're comparing it here, but it's not like it's not like it's like awful and I can't drink it. I can absolutely drink it. I'm just saying it's the most overrated and probably my least favorite to drink. But I am very excited about this. It's very very cool. It seems to be very popular. Although I've been reading that now they're running out of the materials to make this special can, which doesn't make any sense to me. How hard could it be to make this? I don't know doesn't make any sense but basically it's got a special little pop top here instead of drinking it nor like a normal can of beer you basically pull it up the entire fucking thing just comes off and it foams up pretty fast from what I've seen I've seen lots of pictures of people doing it in videos online some clips and I'm gonna try it out for myself here it's basically just an Asahi Super Dry that's it there's nothing to say about it if you've had Asahi Super Dry there's nothing changing here it's Asahi Super Dry. There's nothing different. It's just a funny little can here. A lot of people like it, but unfortunately it seems to be limited supply. Uh, it didn't really seem to affect the supply at my grocery. There seemed to be plenty in stock for now, but apparently they're having difficulty making these cans for right now. So these might not be around for much longer. So I'm glad I was able to pick this up and try it out. So without further ado, and I got some fucking fried chicken here. And I said fried chicken, and now my Shiba is gonna probably be like, huh? He said fried chicken? Like, multiple times? I know when I started making this shit, like, dog, like, gets up. Cause she's lazy as hell. She just lays around all day. She's so lazy. She's like eight years old. She's very lazy. When I give her her food, put the food bowl next to her. She's laying on a pillow. And she'll just, like, lay there and just lean her head and into the bowl and just eat while laying down. She doesn't even lift her head. She's just so lazy, but you get the food she really likes, like the chicken and stuff like that. She'll come running in the room and just stare at you with those cute eyes and just like, she'll like, she'll like, she'll like sit down and then she'll like, if she doesn't get what she wants, she'll stand up again and then sit down again. Like, hey, I'm sitting down for you. Did you see that motherfucker? I sat down for you twice now. Give me food. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I, I, of course I give her, I give her fried chicken plenty of times, but, uh, not right now, cause, uh, this is mine. And I, and she already got chicken today. She already got fucking chicken. Anyways, let's try it. Let's open it up. I gotta be very careful, cause it's gonna fucking bubble up like crazy. Three, a two, a one. Oh, holy shit! No, 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 no! What the actual fuck? I didn't even get a chance to pull off the top! I didn't shake it. Okay, I officially don't like this. <laughs> this did not happen in the videos that I saw online. Just me. Of course it would happen to me. God damn it, look at it. It's fucking foaming up like crazy, and I haven't even taken the top off yet. It's completely intact. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean up after this video. It's on the floor. Luckily, I missed my crotch. But yeah, it's uh, there's a mess on the floor now. That's great. It's still bubbling. I can't even take the top off. That's what he said. All I'm drinking is bubbles now. What the fuck? I haven't even really drank any of the beer. I mean, technically I'm drinking the beer, but it's all fucking foam. Well, that's just stupid. Who, who likes this? Why do people are so excited about this? All right, let's try to take this off. I can't even take it off because it keeps bubbling up. 
Okay, it's finally stopped. Oh, no, no, it's not stopped. It's gonna keep going. All right. That's fucking dumb. All right, this is a... Uh... Okay, it's, it's still bubbling. Is it just gonna keep bubbling? All right. This is what we call a fucking fail. All right, let's try to take it off now. No, it's still bubbling. Okay, it's still bubbling. <coughs> All right, I'm getting tired of drinking bubbles here. All right, let's see if I can pull it off here. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Damn, that is so stupid. All right, people are getting excited about this shit on the interwebs. Well, I think it's fucking stupid. There you go, that's what it looks like. It's finally calmed the fuck down. All right, this was a fucking waste of time. Okay, so it's mostly foam, a huge mess, and it's Asahi Super Dry, so like three strikes, you're out. I, I'm not interested in this anymore. <laughs> I'm never gonna get it again. It was just a, it was just a thing that I thought, oh, interesting. Everyone seems to be excited about this. I don't recommend it. If you have to try it once, sure, go ahead and try it. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I did something wrong. I didn't shake it, because I, I, I fucking popped it, and of course I reacted to that, because it was a very loud pop. And it just started fucking coming out before I could even rip it off the lid. And of course, the chicken is barely warm because I spent too much time talking about this beer and then drinking it and having a huge mess. Now the chicken's not hot anymore. This is a video representation of how my entire life works. I'm always late to things. Never on time. And things are always at a bad time for me. And things never quite work out the way they should, like they do with most people. I'm sure, I'm sure there's tons of videos out there. I'm sure there's tons of Japanese YouTubers out there getting all excited about the little special Asahi Super Dry. And they're popping open their cans and it's nice and clean and, and good quality. And it's very, very sugoi. And then of course, dumbass Gaijin dude does it. And it just fucking makes a huge mess. And he has a uh, lukewarm chicken. It still tastes good, but it's not hot. I don't know though, that kind of makes it funny though. Make a huge mess? Of course I make a huge mess, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm always making a huge mess in my life, both physically and metaphorically. So, it's not surprising at all that I made a huge mess of this. Part of me expected this to fucking just explode on me because I know I'm fucking cursed. Literally everything I do is just fucking cursed. I get some new piece of technology, fucking cursed. It doesn't work for me, it works for everyone else. I get some cool software, doesn't work for me the way it works for everyone else. I'll give you an example. I have Streamlabs. I've been using Streamlabs for over a year now. It doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Sure, it's made my streams a hell of a lot better than when I first started when I was just using my Elgato capture card and streaming directly to YouTube, but then I downloaded Streamlabs. Fucking game changer, and yes, it's a hundred times better, but does it work the way that it works for most people who use it? Hell no, because it's me. It's not gonna work. I have all the settings set up. I've tested all the widgets. Doesn't work. When I go to stream, if someone follows me on Twitch or YouTube, it doesn't pop up on the stream. The little the little cute animated gif and the sound effect doesn't happen. I even set that stuff. I set that stuff up and I've tested it. It, it works. And then when it comes to the time of the stream, if someone follows me or subscribes to me, it doesn't pop up on the screen like a professional fucking streamer, like most people. It doesn't work for me. It worked once recently. Little Pikachu runs on the screen and says, Blah Blah has followed you. Sorry, I don't remember your name, Blah Blah. But uh, that was a few days ago, and I have a shit memory. But I appreciate you nonetheless, so please. And you're probably not following me on here anyway. You're probably just following me on Twitch anyway. Um, you should follow me on YouTube. Hopefully you came over to YouTube, because I put it in my bio. 
But yeah, like it didn't play the sound effect though. It just played the little gif of Pikachu running and said you followed me. I was like, fuck. And, and, and when people donate to me on PayPal, there's supposed to be a fucking widget for that. That pops up, a little animated gif and a sound effect when people donate to me on PayPal. Nothing fucking happens. When someone hosts my fucking stream. Curtis McCartney. One of my longtime subscribers and a personal buddy of mine. Hosted my stream on Twitch. Did it show that on the screen? Fuck no. Fuck no. I don't get people people when when I get followed, subscribed, hosted, donated money. Doesn't show it. Thanks, Twitch. Thanks, Streamlabs. Whoever the fucking whoever's fault it is, thank you. Thank you for not working for this guy. Come on. I have enough problems. Look at me! And then you forget what you're fucking talking about in the first place. What is this video about? This video is about Asahi Super Dry. And how it fucking sucks. But the real question is, should you get this? No, of course not. It's terrible. Okay, get it once. Get it once. Fucking spray it all over yourself like a jackass. And then never get it again. Make a little video for it. It's funny. So yeah. Thanks for checking out this video. Have a good morning, day, or night, wherever you are. Cheers. He's Johnny in Japan. He's Johnny in Japan. He's the worst J-Blogger in the world. Crappy food reviews. Barely any views. He's the worst J-Blogger in the world. Yeah, nailed it.